morning. Uh, welcome back to another vlog reel. It is the second and it's raining today. So after what I did yesterday in the garden, I was fully like, right, tomorrow I get some stuff sorted out, but it's rained and rained and rained all night. So it's very wet out there. There will be no grass cutting today. Also, I put these cushions on here, which are quite cute. The cushions on the bottom, they're actually filled with um, polystyrene balls, you know, like a bean bag. So they never get damp. It's a really cool, it's not like they're not the world's most comfortable, but they're a really cool idea for an outdoor cushion. Um, yeah, so this was not my intention for this bank holiday Monday. But it's where we are. So Lee's just gone to the shop and uh, he's gone to go and get some bits for later. And we are going to go and visit my mum and dad when he comes back. I feel like, do you know what? It might be, I have not eaten very well this weekend. I just kind of feel rubbish. I, <laughs> I've eaten so many snacker jacks. It's not even like, oh, snacker, oh, that's it. Like snacker jacks are pretty, I mean, they're not healthy, are they? But they're not, they're fairly light. Um, but I just feel rubbish and that is the last thing that I ate. So that's kind of what it feels like has made me feel rubbish. Do you ever feel like that, like, or you feel kind of a little bit sick, a little bit empty? Just, like, I need to eat something proper. So I'll be interested to see what he's got us for lunch. Um, also, my energy drink. Someone was, I mean, someone always gives me a hard time about the energy drinks that I drink. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to just keep drinking them because... I just, I, I just don't, I don't see how they're any worse than like full sugar pop. When you look at the the stuff that people have written about like, oh, you know, this is why Coke, which I also enjoy, um, is so terrible for you. Surely everything else is like, why isn't any drink so much worse? It doesn't make me like bounce off the walls, not get like heart palpitations, it doesn't have that effect on me, but it does help me focus uh, and just kind of like, stay in the moment otherwise i'm like Ooh, all over the place um where where is the where is the what's the way i'm looking for the science behind like i don't know maybe i need to look this up oh i don't want to try that one so i bought these i bought quite a few of these recently the scent addict this is a it's like a subscription um, and you get this in your first box and then you get to pick every month. I think it's like, I want to say it's like seven pound for your first month, maybe 14, I can't remember. Either way, it felt like a decent price. Uh, and then you get one of these little bad boys um, and you can obviously slip that in to here and this is what becomes your little atomizer. So I tried that one. The one I bought, I didn't like. This is Dolce & Gabbana Devotion. That was not for me. That was, that was not for me. It's got like a, a rum base, like alcohol rum. Actually smells like that. Uh, then I signed up to Scentbox. I just kind of want to find a, a scent that I really love. I've got a couple, but I feel like I want to find like a signature scent, you know? Um, so I, I signed up to Scentbox and this was a really good deal. I'll, if I remember, I'll link it below um, because the first box was like way discounted. And so I got the one that had two in it and I think I ended up paying 15 pounds for both of these, which is a, I think that's a really good deal. And I canceled it after this and it was so simple. I just canceled it online. It was literally the click of a button. Whereas I, as I understand it, the scent addict one is like a phone call. So I'm keeping that one for now because, um, the next one I've got is for Lee anyway. Anyway, so at this one, they sent me two different colored ones, which is fun. Also the scent addict one, me and Ella both signed up to it. We both wanted the green atomizer and we both got sent the black one so you know if that if that means anything to you um then these ones i mean they even come with like that's color coded i think the scent uh, the scent box one i think they send you a new one of these a new atomizer every time because this pink matches the thing and on the bottom of this it's got the name of the scent so i think they actually send you a full-on thing every time uh so i got flower bomb what's on the bottom of here just said that Flower Bomb Nectar and Flower Bomb Midnight. I think Nectar is my favourite so far. But I keep, I'm like, I must keep them out to use them. I don't know. I don't know. 
is hard. I'm not good with scent, which I know makes no sense because I make candles. We choose home fragrance, but a home fragrance is very different than personal fragrance. I find it much more difficult to hone in on what it is that I dislike about a personal fragrance, whereas home fragrance is like, it's just a different situation. Salad. That will be, that will be nice. Also some black beans. I'm going to make us some, um, a kind of like a black bean chili type thing with some wedges in the air fryer. You'll be glad to know in the air fryer. Uh, and then sour cream. I could not have enough sour cream on anything. Right, we're in the car now and I just Googled it. Um, why are energy drinks so bad for you? And all of the things that came up were to do with sugar. So sugar-free energy drinks, in theory, not so bad for you. In theory. I don't think caffeine's like, unless you've got some kind of disorder, like a heart problem or whatever, I don't think caffeine is some terrible thing. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I feel like hmm. people just think energy drinks are going to kill you don't believe that they are this is my current favorite uh, zero sugar energy drink it is delicious imagine if arches and lemonade was an energy drink it's uh, this police and that's royal air force a ball why what's the hong kong police one well that's what we did with in hong kong oh of the most random things ikea kitchen catalogue from 2002 i think this was my first trip to disney i think that was like um I'm trying to read it's a station but i'm trying to read what that says does it say like S starland i think that they had like a little area that was where mickey and minnie and stuff lived i have been saying for years they need to do this i never pick up a basket at the front and then i always regret it look at that beer like this makes me wish that I liked IPAs. It's not my vibe at all. But they've always got such cool names and packaging. Hello, hello. I don't know how long has it been since I said hello to you. I don't know. I need to get back into the daily vlogging groove. So these are my potatoes I thought I would share. And um, this is how I have been making air fryer chips. I did it a few different ways. I found that soaking them in some salt water and then patting them dry. I never usually have, whatever this is called, paper towels. Generally, as a rule, used to be against paper towels, especially for cleaning. Um, I just never ever bought them. And then I used to have them in for candle stuff because you have, obviously, you can't just like have that stuff on towels because it will wreck them. Um, so for cleaning candle stuff, I had paper towels. And when we got the air fryer, I was like, hmm, I wonder if this would be useful when making the potatoes because if, if i was like really going to town making some extra nice um where it is roast potatoes then i would dry them and i have discovered that this is the case so i soak them and then i dry them as much as possible and that gives me the best air fried chips the chips were delicious i think i've perfected them now um anyway now i'm waiting in a Zoom for Emma, uh, and we are going to do our first episode of our not podcast podcast. It's going to be for YouTube. It's going to be kind of chat on certain topics each week. Like, don't call it a podcast podcast. Feels like calling it a podcast is like the doom bell. Like, it's it's not going to work if we call it a podcast. But that's what it is. I think I could hear you then. Momentarily. Oh, I can hear you, but I can't see you. I'm making a mug cake. It's not, it's not quite there. I think, oh, I don't know, you know. I think I'm just gonna give it a few more seconds. Keep it firmer than that. I've had a mug cake in forever. So I just finished the podcast with Emma, which was great. I really, I'm feeling so good about it because uh, also, maybe I cut off my hair and I just went back to 2015 and was like, let's do all the things we used to do. Because I think it was 2015, 2016 that we last did a proper podcast like this, like a chat podcast, um, or an attempt at one. Uh, but yeah, I'm feeling really good about it because it is a lot more sustainable the way that we're going to do this. Uh, and came out, came well from it, thinking my hair, you know, I could probably dry shampoo it, but I'd quite like to wash my hair to feel 
you know, a little bit cleaner. And I just did because it's this, this long. So I can just wash it and it doesn't require any kind of forward planning. Yum. We've been watching, please ignore that. Of course, Sheridan Smith's eyes in that freeze frame. Um, we've been watching this show, which I think is new to Netflix, but it's not new. I've never been so stressed out watching a TV show in my entire life. We're on the final episode. It's about gambling. It's She's just a gambling addict and it's just like, it's painful to watch. By the end of it, I don't know whether or not it will have been worth it. It's giving me a stomachache just watching this woman make these decisions and live a life this way. It's just harrowing to think of people in this actual situation where they can't overcome this addiction. It's awful. It's horrible. What am I? Six episodes in. I don't think this has added to my life. I don't think this has been a positive choice that we've made to watch this today. I might change my mind by the end, but I'm going to wrap it up here because I need, I need, a, just needed a break. Just needed a break from the show. It's so stressful. Um, and I'll tell you tomorrow, tomorrow whether or not. I mean, I'm going to say don't watch it because it's just, however, it could come good in the end. I'm just like, if she doesn't have some luck by the end.